So today we're going to be taking a look at running Node on Android. And we are also going to take a quick look at how would I set my development environment up for Android. And also we're going to be taking a quick look at what do I actually use my phone for as a developer. So here I have this terminal here and it's actually an app called Termux. And it's an emulator for Linux. I would say it's like a light version of Linux. There isn't like a whole lot of stuff that works, but the stuff that do work is really cool. And one of those things that work is Node. So you can actually install Node on here and uh, it's relatively simple. I will leave an article down below, which I've wrote, which will explain it in details. And I will show you all of the commands you have to write because I don't want to show it on the phone because it's going to be quite tedious because I don't have a plugged in keyboard. So once you have followed the guide, you will also be in this folder because I will write this in the guide as well. But if you have Node installed, all you want to do is you want to Make sure to cd it into storage slash shared. Then I made a directory called programming and that is where I'm in. And I've just ran the command ls so you can see the files. And then I've actually done npm init to get a node project in here. And the code I will take a look at in a second, but it's essentially just a web server. And to run this, we can just do node. And then app and press enter. Now a node web server is running on my phone. And if we just go to my web browser here, you can see that yes, the server is running. Very cool. Now there are gonna be some limitations. It doesn't work with like any node package. You do have to be a little careful of what you pick, but when you find the ones that do work, it's pretty cool. And in here you can see the code. As far as I know, the default packages are supported, but a lot of the packages are just like operating system equal Android, what? And then it breaks. You can see the file here is just an HTML file and it is a JS file. And you can see the directory here. And by the way, if you were to make a project in Termux, all you do is open folder and then go to your internal storage. And then in your internal storage folder, that's where that shared folder is. So then you can just scroll down and find the programming one, which is somewhere, there we go. And your project files will be in there. And then you can just, you know, edit them and stuff like that. And then just press select folder and then and edit the code and do whatever. So that was the first thing. And uh, let me take a quick look at what would you do if you have your development environment on your computer and you want to edit some quick code on your phone. Then I would recommend, uh, two seconds, I would recommend here, a SSH client. And also team viewer and you know remote clients like that you'll just sign in from your phone to your computer and you could even plug in a keyboard on your phone and then run all of the code like that and one more thing here there is a github app so you can run some github on here i don't know how good it is i haven't tested it out and the last thing i want to take a look at is my note keeping i don't use any of the other things as a developer because i developed on my computer but if you don't have a computer you know it can be pretty nice that you can actually do it on android but i just use my phone for note taking and i use google keep because you can write draw and speak so you know you can really choose whichever way you want to take your notes because sometimes you want to do it by your voice sometimes you want to do it by an image and other times you just want to write it down and uh, yes i do watch coding garden i also use this for vincent lab so it's not only coding but it can be really neat to have a, a note taking app because most of the good ideas you're going to get is not going to be in front of the computer it's going to be when you are laying in bed or you're driving you're going to get those good ideas and you have to write them down because you will forget them so uh, yeah Google Notes. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.